taking products to market too fast before they can be thoroughly I decided to visit the Genterra performance today because I've always had a kind of fascination with genetic modification and transgenic technology. But I wanted to find out more detail, kind of to clarify the issues involved, popular science. So I wanted to experience something more in depth. And also, I like the idea of the, the staging, the way Genterra staged the whole presentation, the way they present themselves as scientists, the way they present a laboratory experience. That's really what I wanted. Kurt kind of talks you through the process and through the implications. And then just the simple fact of introducing different kind of bacteria through a microscope, which you can see on a monitor. So you can see different bacteria in close-up. That's something I hadn't experienced before. And then Melissa um, giving you the chance to own some transgenetic bacteria. Transgenic is when you take a gene from one type of creature and put it into another type of creature. Right? That's how that works. So it's extremely important to engage the audience and to do so in a qualitative way. I mean, there's been two strategies of kind of more or less art that is going to interrogate ideology of a particular subject matter. And one has been the kind of hang it on the wall method or to do it through some type of mass media, whether it's actually going on television or doing web streaming or whatever. And that's really good for numbers. But what we're really interested in is a qualitative experience where the person is engaged in dialogue, where it's embodied and there's kind of all of consciousness is taken up by that experience and done so in a way that is rather rigorous and that they can move through different kinds of hands-on experience, that they can talk to people, that they can look at things so that that full spectrum is covered. And what we find then is that you get a lot more information in there and that it's remembered that it really sticks with the person and rolls around in their mind for a much longer period of time, which is why we're far less interested in numbers than we are in the quality of the experience itself, hence our participatory theatre. I think it's really interesting in this kind of environment, again, to, to put things in that challenge rather than, and ask questions rather than answer in an art environment, and it's great that you might get a different audience to see things that they wouldn't ordinarily see. Well, what I've got inside, I've got a little stick and the circle end is, is for putting the bacteria in and putting it into a bit of, well, a bit of, um, well, for, it's seaweed nutrition and the bacteria is growing on, on the bottom at the moment. You can see the tiny little dot. That's the bacteria growing, and on the um, on the back on the bacteria's food, because bacteria need food to survive. And once it gets bigger, it produces. It's like having babies, but it doesn't really have babies. Once they touch each other, it starts producing more and more and more. It doesn't matter how much you did put in, you get more. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's fine. Can I go ahead and give you the stick back and put the lid on? And then you want to wrap this film around it, and it stretches. The bacteria will last in there as long as the food supply. What's the bacteria again, It's um, transgenic bacteria. It's a modified version of E. coli. E. coli. The fact that critical art ensemble are performers, the fact that they're artists taking on the role of scientists. It's not so much that that presents truth, it's more that it presents um, a way of experiencing science and a way of experiencing biotechnological processes that are um, easier to grasp. They materialize these processes, um, so the processes lose their abstraction and they lose their distance 
and they lose their mystification. Well, I, I, the concluding thought is just to say, you know, that hopefully uh, we've brought to people just how significant, how important this issue of transgenics is and how much the politics of this issue is going to affect their everyday life and that hopefully with the information maybe that they've gathered here, uh, they can become more involved in that, they be can become better on a citizen level or for the cases that are more extreme that they can become involved in an activist level on a better informed basis than when they walked in. And if we, we did that, then we're pretty happy with what the results are.